Ben, what's your name and how old are you? Are you going to spell it, darling? <laughs> B E what's next? Ben. Um Ben was assaulted on June 27, 2007, receiving one blow to his face, but with enough force that it knocked him backwards and caused Ben to hit the back of his head on concrete, causing this particular brain injury. I don't know. And he was rushed to the Alfred Hospital where he was operated on and was not expected to survive the surgery, but he did. Um, they had him in, in, he was in intensive care at the Alfred for five weeks. He was in induced coma for a few days. And, you know, I was told I would have to find a place for Ben to go because there wasn't the money available. I mean, I would have been with me at home. I mean, I would love to have been at home. Um, but I couldn't manage on my own. Like, Ben needs help <laughs> with everything. <laughs> Will he, do you think he'll go swimming this week? No. Nope. No, no, no. He's on another course of antibiotics. No parent should be having to look at an aged care facility for their child. Um, I mean, Ben had to have an aged care assessment done. How ridiculous. Like, like how, how old was he then? 22. Mm. Um, Do you think he would have been able to cope? He hates it. He uh. doesn't like where he lives. He's sure there are people here that he loves, but this is basically Ben's life. This room, this tiny room. Um, he prefers to be in here. He doesn't want his door open. Uh, I mean, this sounds quite callous, but you know, this is the last stop for people. Um, and Ben's just a young person, he's got his whole life ahead of him. So many people have died since we've been here. Like, there's a constant stream of new faces and that's not a place for a young person to be. For the three years Ben has been here, he's received funding each year from My Future, My Choice a uh, program intended to divert younger people out of aged care facilities into age-appropriate accommodation. With the numbers of people, young people, going into aged care facilities each year, continuing to grow, certainly not decreasing. Um, it's vital that this program continue to be funded. It's vital for people like Ben. Um, every human being deserves a quality of life. We've been to hell and back in a way. But then, you know, I mean, I reconcile, life is just experiences and um, we're just on a, we're having a different experience and I just hope there's a measure of peace for Ben at Noble Park.